Hello students, I'm going to show you how to connect Kami to your Chrome browser. So first thing, make sure you have a Chrome browser open. That's the one you should be using, especially since we're doing things through Google Classroom. It'll work a little bit better for you. And that way we're able to add the extensions that are working with Google Chrome. What you need to do is go to our first assignment for the week using Kami for editing documents. So you're going to make sure you have that open. Your first step is to watch this video and follow along as I have you set up the Kami extension. So let's go ahead and do that. So our step two is connect Kami to your Chrome browser. So please follow along with my steps as I'll show you how to connect Kami. First thing you're going to do is in this assignment, I have linked the Kami extension for you for easy access. So you're gonna go ahead and click that link and it'll open up a new tab. It'll open a tab that looks like this for you. Yours will look slightly different because instead of saying remove from Chrome, yours will say add to Chrome. Add it to Chrome, there will be a small little window that pops up asking you to add the extension. Add the extension. You should then see a notification in this upper right hand corner indicating that you have added Kami. Once you have that uh, notification, you're just simply going to go up and close out of this tab as we will no longer need it. We are now back at our original window and you're going to now move on to step three as we have now added Kami to our Chrome browser. We now need to actually write on this document using Kami. Now for this time, you will have a slightly different process as you need to connect Kami to your Google Drive as well. This will be a one-time thing so long as you stay within your Buffalo Google account. So normally, once we have Kami connected, we're going to click on the document we want to edit. It'll open a window like this and we will select open, or sorry, annotate with Kami. Right now, you don't have that option. So here's what we need to do. You're still going to select open with, but you're now going down to connect more apps. You'll get this window that shows up and in the search apps, you're going to write Kami. You're going to select the top search result, the one that I have a green check mark on. Yours will not have that green check mark. Make sure you do not select the second one as it is not what we want. We want the PDF and document annotation. Select that one and then you can close out of this window. You should now see an option to annotate with Kami within your open width. Select annotate with Kami. You will get a loading screen and eventually you'll be brought to this page. This is your end result. Before you can get here, you need to authorize your Google Drive for Kami. Follow the prompts, always giving it access to the things that it asks. If you get a prompt that asks you to select what type of organization, select K-12 school and you are a student. Otherwise, always there will be messages that'll say, you know, I allow access to my drive, give permission, um, things like that. Always select through to give permission for those, uh, for Kami, for your Google Drive. It sometimes will ask you once or twice, just kind of depending. So that is normal. If you get stuck in that process, please let me know. I will be available to you during my normal class period time. Eventually, you should get to a point where this is what you see on your screen. For this assignment, all I want you to do is to make sure that you have Kami working. So to do so, you're going to simply in the box that I have provided, you're gonna select text box so you now are able to type. And you'll now get a little blue box, which is where you'll be typing. And you will write, I have connected Kami. And if you have a typo, you'll go back and fix it like I just had. Then select out of that window, or sorry, that window, that box. So now that way, you're not currently editing it. That allows it to auto save and makes it a little, make sure that you will turn in the correct information. Once you have done that, you'll simply go back to our Google Classroom, click to the side out of this document, or you can click the back up on the top. And you will, down here, for me, it says edit assignment you will have view assignment. So view that assignment and then click the turn in button that will show up on the right hand side of your page. Once you have turned this document in, that it completes this assignment for you. If at any point you get stuck on this process, be sure to let me know. We will be using this annotation tool frequently throughout the year and you'll be using it earlier, or sorry, later on in this week. Thanks for watching. Again, if you have questions, let me know.